today we have left New Zealand completely. We are far away. We are now in the Republic of Whangamamona. So we are outside the Pangamamona post office and like in many rural area, the post office only opens one day a week. So local get their mail through this box right here. Easy peasy, right? We are in the Republic of Pangamamona and we need to get our passport stamped. And we're going to get them stamped here at the Pangamamona Hotel. How long was the flight to the Republic of Fangamamona? Oh, it was um, approximately half a millisecond. <laughs> you have to be in charge of your own passport or else they won't Ooh. let you in. <laughs> All right, so we are now in the pub where the whole republic was formed. So, can we please get our passport stamp? You can indeed, you can indeed. Two dollars each. Two dollars for Laura. Yeah, and two dollars for me. Yeah. 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 Thank you. 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 Well, it doesn't worry me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Please do close up for you. I can bring it to you. Yeah. Nice. Richard, put them to right. Yes. I'm going to get a brand new page for this one. Look at that. Perfect ink as well. Look at that. It is gorgeous. <laughs> I am now officially accepted in the Republic of Fangamomona. So we have, have a few drinks with Richard, who's like a really cool guy and he's really like easy to talk to and chatty and he is one of the few residents of the Republic. Um, even just in this small town alone, I think when all his family are in town, that's 21 people in total. There's like four families within the town. Obviously there's more people in the greater area, but yeah, there's not a lot of people here, but that's really cool. And that's the whole essence of the Forgotten World Highway. It's a forgotten world. There's hardly anyone there. If you ever want to escape, go to the Forgotten World. So Fangamamona has a very interesting history of presidents. At one point, the president of Fangamamona was a goat. It was actually called Billy the Goat. He reigned over the Republic with an iron trotters, crushing all his dissidents with a but after this tyrant was brought down from power due to early death, because a goat doesn't live that long, the seat was overtaken by Richard's wife, which is now the official president of the Fangamomona Republic. I have heard that she's doing a better job than the goat was doing. All this history is on the whole pub walls. The whole walls are scattered in photos from yesteryear and yonder year and before Christ. There's not a single part of the wall which is clear. There's just photos, there's trophies from sheep shearing contests, there's sporting trophies for pool games in the bar, there's community notice boards. For instance, they have like a wild food cook-off in the pub. So you can tell that even like back in the day, they had a, it was a big like community vibe and the fact that they became a republic itself shows like it's all about the community. And now, even today, they are still having their like events and things throughout the town. And it brings the people who are living all along the Forgotten World Highway all together. 
And for instance, Richard knows the family we stayed with um, the night before, Simon and Sarah, he knows them very well. People come far and wide and this is their local pub, even if it is a few hundred kilometers down the road. It's incredible how one single man has gathered an, almost an entire museum down there. So it's really, really, really awesome. Republic of Fangamamona, Laura speaking. We have lunch with Richard and one of his staff working there, like one of the pub managers. We have some toasties and fresh fruit, fruit and cheese and it's all very nice. And we, we're finding it a bit hard to pull ourselves away from like this remote area because we know we're heading into civilization soon when we finish the Forgotten World Highway. So we're sitting there and we can't pull ourselves away. But eventually, you know, we have to go. That's the essence of traveling. It's like, you have to leave and you don't really want to, but you know, there's stuff ahead, you gotta go and see, so. We also get ourselves some little long-sleeved teas of um, the Fangamamona Republic Hotel. Just time to say goodbye to Richard and uh, his uh, wife. Give them a big hug, thanks them for the lunch, thank them for the night. It was a blast. Fangamamona, we will be back. But now we're driving out of the Forgotten World Highway. We just have a, but Google Maps say there's about 20 minutes left of the Forgotten World Highway. I don't think that's true. I think it's about an hour and a half and I think I'm right. We're driving toward New Plymouth, which is on the west coast of New Zealand. It's another great surf spot and it's hiding behind Mount Taranaki, which is stunning and beautiful and mind-blowing and all the adjectives you can think of. We thought like going through the gorge, through Tangarakau and stuff was amazing, but the rest of the Forgotten World Highway is also like every 10 seconds there's something to look at. And eventually we get these awesome views as the sun sets going down of Mount Taranaki, which is the place we are heading to now, well, sort of near there. And then we arrive in New Plymouth, where we are greeted by the best receptionists at a hostel I've ever met. There were just two board collie dogs, literally on the desk, looking at us in the little cubby hole. We are ready for our Taranaki adventure. Bring it on.